After the NIA, ED and the police of 13 states conducted raids on PFI and SDPI leadership and establishment, Union Home Minister Amit Shah is holding a meeting with the concerned enforcement and security chief to review the evidence collected and mull over the future course of action. The meeting is also being attended by National Security Advisor Ajit Doval. The raids on PFI SDPI have been conducted on the basis of intense investigation and data collection by Intelligence Bureau in consultation with NIA and ED. Days after filing of the nomination for Congress President election start, Shashi Tharoor, who announced his intention to contest the poll, is finding no backing from the leaders of his home state of Kerala. Many of them want Rahul Gandhi to return as the chief and the chorus is growing louder with some states' unit passing resolution demanding Vainad MP take over the reins of the party. Congress's chief whip in the Lok Sabha, K. Suresh, commented on Tharoor and said Shashi Tharoor should not contest. He is an international man. Supreme Court of India on Wednesday said that the visual media is the chief medium of hate speech in the country and also questioned the state government as to why it is standing by as a mute witness when all of this is happening and treating it as a trivial matter pointing out that hate speech can be in different forms, sort of ridicule a community and its spread through the visual media can have devastating effect. Fresh tally of COVID-19 cases in India remained under 6,000 as 5,443 cases were reported in the last 24 hours. With this, the total number of active cases in the country has reached to 46,342. According to the latest data released by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, 5,291 people recovered from the virus, taking the overall recoveries in the country to 4 crore 39 lakh 78,271. The death toll across the country has reached to 5,28,429 and the daily positivity rate in the country was reported at 1.61%. 